This happened in the middle of last year. At that time, I was at home with my boyfriend, Dan, watching TV. Dan was deeply concentrated on what the TV screen was showing, so I was about to start making a romantic atmosphere, but then I heard a knock at the door. I got pretty pissed off as it interrupted, but got up anyway and opened the door. We lived with one of our friends, so at the moment, I thought it would be my friend, but to my surprise, it was a man around the same age as me. He looked a little bit tired and was forcing a smile on his face. He was all sweating and his eyes were red as if from crying, but it wasn't my business to ask. Oh, hello, the stranger said with the wide smile taking his hand out for me to shake. Hi, I said, looking at his hand and back at him. Can I use your bathroom, please? He asked, still having this huge smile plastered on his face. Before I could say anything, though, Dan came behind me and told the guy that, indeed, he could use the bathroom. The man went in there, and Dan and I just went back to the couch and waited for him. Then I heard some sounds, like water pouring in the bathtub. After ten minutes, I slowly started to get curious, as he didn't come out yet. I told Dan that I should check on him, but he told me to wait a little bit more. So, I just waited, and twenty minutes later... He didn't come out. There was just silence in the bathroom. After 30 minutes, well, Dan decided that he'd check the bathroom. However, having a bad feeling, I went along with him just to be sure that nothing happened to him. Hey, is everything all right? I knocked at the door at the bathroom, but there was no response. I repeated the actions, but this time I knocked louder and yelled. Dan told me to wait a little longer, but I refused. I pressed on the handle of the door, expecting it to be locked, but to my surprise, it wasn't. I couldn't believe what I saw in front of me. To my horror, there was blood splattered on the floor everywhere, and the bathtub was filled up with a red liquid, as well with a lifeless body in it. The smell of blood filled the bathroom, and I wondered how I couldn't smell that outside. I told Dan to call 911 while I went over to the body to check his pulse. But when I got closer to it, I noticed that a razor blade was shoved deep in his neck. He was just dead. After half an hour, the 911 arrived with the cops. They took his body and we had to give our report to the cops. To this day, I became more paranoid about a stranger. Especially, I'm positive that letting a stranger use your bathroom is not safe and just nonsense. So, don't let the stranger come in. Ever.